So now this game is pretty much there. Uh, however, it's a little bit dull because there's no music and there's no sound effect. So I think that will definitely add something to it once we put that in. However, before I get to that, there is one little thing that you might have noticed from the previous video. So these birds, they're not supposed to appear straight away. The point of them was that they increased difficulty once you get further up the screen. But in the previous video, when I was talking about collision, I temporarily commented that section out. So if you haven't already noticed that yourself and fixed it, I will just explain what to do here. Go back down to the game loop again. And this part here where we generated enemies, remember I commented this part out. So just make sure that you get rid of the comment and that colon. So now the enemies are only going to appear once you reach a score of 1500. So there we go. Let's fix that. And now we can start actually adding in the music. So first of all, I need to import an additional module from Pygame. Now underneath here where I've got import OS, I will say from Pygame import mixer. And mixer is what's going to be controlling the music and the sound effects. I need to make sure that just as Pygame, I initialize mixer. So just before I initialize Pygame, I'll say mixer.init. And that's it. That's it all set up to be able to control the music and the sounds. Now we need to start loading all that stuff into my game. Now just underneath here where I've got my frame rate set up and before I got my game variables, I'm going to load in the music and the sounds. So we'll add a comment to say load music and sounds and load them in, in pretty much the same way as with the images. So the function here is a little bit different. It's pygame.mixer.music.load. But then you just have to specify the location of the file. So my one is within this assets folder. So just the same as the images, it's within the subfolder here and it's called music.mp3. That means that first of all, I need to tell Pygame to go to this assets folder and then load in music.mp3. Okay, that's fine. Let's test that. And nothing happens. So after I've loaded it, I need to actually tell it to play. I'll say pygame.mixer.music.play. And there's a couple of arguments here. So the first one is how many times I want this to loop. Well, I want it to just keep looping. So I say negative one. And the second argument is what point do I want the, the music to start at? As in what point in the music itself? Well, I want it to start right at the beginning. So zero, zero, and that will start the music at the beginning. And then it will just keep playing it. Let's try that. And you can hear this straight away. Now it's a little bit loud for my liking. So I kind of want it to be a little bit quieter. So before I actually play it, I will say pygame.mixer.music.set underscore volume to, and this is going to be as a percentage, so I will say 0 0.6, which will be 60% of the volume. Run that again, and it's a little bit quieter, so it's a bit more of a backing track. So that's my music setup, and that's pretty much all there is to that one. Now I need to load in my sound effects. I'll start assigning them to variables. So my jump underscore fx is pygame.mixer dot sound with a capital S and then again where is it well it's within the assets folder and the name so here's the folder and the name of it is jump.mp3 let's put jump.mp3 in here and I'm going to set the volume of this one down as well so jump underscore fx dot set underscore volume and I'll set this one to half if it's original so 0 0.5 and the only other sound effect I have is when the player dies. So we'll change this from jump to death underscore FX and just change the sound effect also to death.mp3. So that also is in the same folder here. Now these are not my own sound effects. I didn't create them. They're all open source. So I'll put a link to where I got these in the video description if you want to go and have a look at some other ones. But that's essentially it for loading everything in. So if I run the game again, you will hear the backing track. Oh, I made a mistake here. No such file because I've made a typo. So this should be assets with two S's. Run again. So you hear the backing track, but there's no sound effects when you're jumping. And that's simply because they've been loaded in, but I've never specified when I should be able to play them. So what I need to do now is look for the situation when the event occurs. So in my case, the first one I want to look at is jumping. When does the player actually jump? So that happens within the player class. So we'll come down to this move method and there's a section of code here where I'm checking for a collision with the platforms. And the first part of it is collision in the Y direction, meaning up and down. So when the player lands on top of the platform, which is essentially all of this code here, I make the player jump back up. 
So this is where I, I set the vertical velocity back to a negative value, so he jumps back up. So if this is the jumping section, then to play that sound effect, I just say jump underscore fx dot play. Run this again. I don't know if you can make that out, but there's a little knocking sound every time he jumps. So maybe if I turn off the music just for now, let's comment out this dot play section. And there you go. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's definitely playing every time he jumps. So then the only other one left is this death sound effect. Now there are two game over scenarios when the player dies. So let's go down to the game loop again. And remember, they're already contained within their own little section down here. There's the one when the player falls off the bottom of the screen, and then the one when he hits one of the enemies. So the code is going to be the same. Within each of these if statements, if that condition is met, then it's death underscore fx dot play. So we will play that sound effect. And then the same goes for when the player hits one of the enemies. So if I test this out again, and I'm just going to fall off. And there you go. So that's pretty much it. That's how you add in sound effects and music into a game. So you can have as many of these sound effects as you like and the different conditions for when you play them, if it's a shooting sound effect or explosions, anything like that. Now just remember to uncomment this music section here just so it all plays together. And there you go, that's how you add in music and sound effects. So I hope you found that useful and thanks for watching.